I don't know how much of this I'm going to get to record before my bride, Joan, gets here. Um, okay, so um, the first thing is if you don't, if you do it out of your heart, God's got you. Don't worry about what they didn't do. I like that. When a client said that, I was like, that is good. If you do it out of your heart, God's got you. Don't worry about what they didn't do. So if people have failed you, if they cheated you, if they didn't reciprocate in some way, God's got you. Two. What was done to you is repeated to yourself. I often think of that. So let's say you grew up in a house and you were always criticized. You're ugly, you're fat, you're never gonna amount to anything. You're, 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 So what I see with clients sometimes is they will often do the same thing internally to themselves just very critical, just very, very critical. So as you're healing from trauma, you're healing that wounded part. So think about your trauma, what was done to you, what happened to you, think about what happened to you, and then see if that resonates with you, that you do the same thing to yourself, name call, criticize, you know, those things. And then um, the third thing, my takeaway from today is I was thinking about my counseling session with my own therapist, uh, I think it was last week. And we were talking about the poverty mindset because that's something I really want to dig into um, because it shows up in my life. And um, so I, I thought today, you know, and that's the benefit of, of going to a counselor. The answer may not come right then, but as you're thinking, your brain is re rewiring and connections are made. And so I had one of those moments today and I thought, why don't I sometimes pay for a professional service um, like a lawyer or, you know, just professional services, um, um, a plumber. Oh, let me call my friend or let me call, you know, someone instead of hiring a professional. And so today what came to me, um, is that, um, I was taken advantage of by an authority figure, figures, adults, I was taken advantage of as a child, and so it's very difficult to trust professional uh, authority. They're the same in, in my young mind. So I thought that was really good because when we don't heal the trauma, it keeps showing up over and over again in our life in different ways. And so I wouldn't have known, oh, that's why I feel this way about a professional. I don't trust them. Because as a child, I could not trust the adults to keep me safe. So why would I trust them now? So that is like an ah uh ha -huh, ha uh ha -huh ha moment. Um, and then <laughs> here's another thing. Um, wisdom from a client um the client said the devil will reward you god will bless you know the difference so that has to do with our uh, just thinking oh well you know i deserve this i deserve this and so i do a piece with with clients about addiction and how do we know it's addiction? Because it uh, is temporary satisfaction. It doesn't replenish. Um, there's guilt. There are consequences. And we tell ourselves, I deserve this. You know what? I had to put up with them today. And woo, I deserve to do this thing. So when the client said that, I immediately thought, ah, 
Yes, the devil wants to reward. God blesses. So look at that and you can kind of know, oh, where this is coming from and where this leads. And then addiction, you know, in and of itself is a problem. And so what I say in uh, to clients with uh, the addiction is instead of uh, saying, you know, I deserve to do this thing. Oof, I had to put up with those people. Blah, blah, blah. Um, go back to the trauma. Go back to the pain. Pain is trauma. Go back to the pain and say, but I didn't deserve that. As lovingly as you can to yourself, but I didn't deserve that. But I didn't deserve that. And so the parts of you that says, yeah, yeah but you know, you know, you, 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 uh, but I didn't deserve that. Just keep saying that over and over again, as lovingly as you can, but I didn't deserve that. And that's the truth. And the scripture that says, the truth shall make you free. I don't see, it says set. We say set, but it says make you free. The truth shall make you free. I don't want to just be set free. That's a temporary. I want to be made free permanent. <sighs> Breathe and enjoy the journey.